So there are still some people that will be headed to Midnight Mass tonight. Are That's they right. going to need an umbrella? <clears throat> they will, probably, especially on the west side of town. Rain moving in. Just got off the phone. Technology with uh, Mrs. Claus. Santa is on <laughs> time. So. That's good news for everyone. So, yeah, so get to bed, you know, and uh, maybe go to Midnight Mass and bring the umbrella for that. Let's take a live look right now. This is Doppler radar, and you can see we're still dry right now. So if you're headed out right now, unless you're on the very far west side of town, you are dry. But by the time that's over, we're going to see rain moving on in. And it's starting to snow now in the coast range. That's why we have the winter weather advisory. And notice we have the winter mosaic color table on here. We see the pink and the white. That indicates where it's coming down as snow. So after a dry Christmas Eve, I mean, really a beautiful day of weather. We saw some sunshine, plenty of sun breaks, clouds in the rain are now starting to roll in. And we got a very impressive storm system. The biggest part of this goes up to the north, but we see this area of rain come through tomorrow. Going to bring some wind at the coast, going to bring some rain to all the inland areas, and then above about 1,000, 1,500 feet, that is where it comes down in the form of some snow. Let's go to Raincast. Here we are at 11 o'clock tonight. You can see still off to our west, but by maybe at 8 o'clock in the morning when you're opening your presidents. Now look at this. Just in western Washington County, maybe some snowflakes are coming down. And if we get a heavy enough shower, even here in Portland, look at the yellows on the map. That indicates moderate rain. Could bring some of that colder air aloft down with it containing a snowflake. Maybe a small little Christmas miracle. But the big story is in the Columbia River Gorge, that's where we're going to see a good old-fashioned snowstorm on Christmas Day. And then by lunchtime, look at that. Really, we start to see even that snow in the coast range begin to turn into rain as some warmer air starts to work on in. Not in the Cascades, though, or Central and Eastern Oregon, or even the Gorge, still coming down in the form of some snow. Now, by 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, it looks like we're back to scattered showers mode, and then we'll see some breaks in the rain. So not an all-out soaker, but certainly going to see a lot of rain. And a lot of snow, too. So what are we looking at? Well, the coast range, 2 to 5 inches above 1,500 feet. The Gorge, 4 to 8 inches of snow. Especially Hood River and Points East. In the Cascade Foothills, 5 to 9 inches. Central Organs, 3 to 10. And the Cascades, up to 2 feet of fresh snow on Christmas Day. How, how, do you, how do you like that? Now, we talked about this at 6 o'clock this evening. Chance of a white Christmas in Miami? Well, 1 in 20,000. In fact, it made headlines 36 years ago, and that wasn't even on Christmas. That was just because it snowed in Miami. Chances here in Portland, the record books say, you know what, a little bit better. In fact, downtown Portland has had a trace or more of snow 13 times. Remember in 2008, just a few years ago, we had 11 inches, almost a foot of snow on the ground, but the overall average chance of Seeing a white Christmas in downtown Portland, 4%. Much better chance than Miami, anyway. High temps today, look at that, 46 in Salem, 46 in Portland. Uh, not even extreme cold central and eastern Oregon. If it were colder in the gorge or eastern sections of the state, we might be able to tap into some of that colder air, but just not this time around. We still have January and February. Don't worry about it if you still want a snowstorm. 41 currently outside right now, and we're looking at a time lapse of a gorgeous day at Cannon Beach if you were spending your holiday there. 40 East Moreland, 39 Garden Homes. So you see we are just a little bit too warm for snow, but the Dow's 31, 25 in Bend, certainly cold enough. All right, forecast then for Christmas Day at the coast. Windy, wet, and we'll see those gusts up to 40 miles per hour. East side, heavy, wet snow likely with some gusty winds. Into the gorge, a snowstorm. Now, I think Cascade Locks and Points West, you're going to transition over to rain pretty early on in the day. But again, Hood River and Points East, all snow. I'm still going to keep a couple of snowflakes in the higher terrain in the metro in the early morning hours, just in case we get that Christmas miracle. 40s for daytime highs. Better chance in southwest Washington. Washington, especially northern Clark and Collitz County. All right, so your day planner, Christmas morning, 39, up to 43, wet and rainy Christmas dinner. Maybe we'll get some breaks in the action. Cool showers Wednesday, 44. Thursday, maybe a stray shower, and then an extended period of cool weather, but dry weather. So all the snow that has fallen, people are going to be able to get out and enjoy. Maybe even get a suntan out there with the snow skiing. A suntan. Oh, Chances yeah, with the that. sun. Well, you know, in the Cascades, you get good That's sunshine. True. Wear your sunscreen. Merry all right, Christmas. thank you, Matt.